Hi, it's Dr. JJ again with some additional life-saving tips for enjoying your holiday season this summer and year-round, especially if you have a pool. One of the things you can do outside that's really important is to make sure that if you're filling bodies of water like uh, little tubs for your kids outside, little wading pools, or even have buckets full of water when you're washing your car, or ice chests with melting ice in them. When you're done, tip them over, get rid of the water, because any standing body of water is an invitation for a curious kid to knock their head in, and kids are top heavy. Their heads are bigger than their bodies when they're small, and typically kids can go in head first and not be able to get themselves out. So any body of water that is even contained in a small pool or ice chest, get rid of it. Second of all, if you have fish ponds at home that are outdoor, consider keeping them empty and forego the fish for the first few years of your child's life until they're water safe. So these are some good outdoor tips. Now what about inside? Because believe it or not, we have two bodies of water inside our house that are equally as hazardous. One is our toilets, believe it or not. And again, the scenario is kind of common. An older brother or sister leads the baby into the toilet room. He puts the lid up and he looks down and before you know it, the weight of his head propels him down into that two or three inches of water and before you know it, you have a child that's drowned in the toilet. So as annoying as they are, put those darn uh, doorknob covers on the door and put the latches on the toilet for the first few years of your children's life until they learn how to swim. This can be life-saving. Similarly, in that same room is the bathtub, and the bathtub is a hazard if you aren't using the same rules that you do at poolside, which is you are there with your child every single moment they're in the tub. You have the phone in there, you're not on it. You use it for emergencies, you make sure it's working. You never turn your back on a child in the tub. And then when the bath is over, you empty that water before your child gets out of the tub so that you know so that you know that your child's not gonna to toddle on back and go back for another little swim. The other thing that's really important too is that if you have a child with epilepsy or seizure disorder, never, no matter what their age, never let them in a bathtub alone without your supervision. Each year, several kids and young adults may drown in a bathtub because they've had a seizure or epilepsy. So encourage your older kids with seizure disorders to actually shower. And if you're bathing your young ones who have epilepsy or seizure disorders, these rules really have to stick tight. Your vigilance is life-saving. So have a safe and wonderful summer. Remember all these rules. We have them on the Home and Family website, and they're also on my website at mdmoms.com. Never, never, never have the story that we talked about today. Always, always have a great and safe summer. Good luck. Bye-bye.